Now, as a school bus driver, after I drop you guys off at school, I have one huge responsibility. And that is to do my child check. Now, I already did my child check at the school. That's where we're supposed to do it. But for educational purposes, I'm going to do it again for you. Go down the student check right here. I scan this little thing right here. So now you walk through the bus and you check each and every seat for students, for objects, backpacks, lunch boxes, water bottles, wallets, phones, anything that a kid or student may leave on the bus. This is clear, I come back here, I scan this little thing. This system, you can never leave a child on the bus unless you are an incompetent bus driver, and in that case, you should not be a bus driver. I've never left a kid, I never will leave a kid, and I don't ever want to leave a kid, because that is some serious jail time. And charges, and you're sued, and you lose your job, and basically your life ends. So if you're a bus driver, always check your bus. We don't want to leave any kiddos behind. I actually get this question a lot and I've never, I've never found a cigarette, I've never found anything illegal, any illegal substances, I've never even found a vape. And a lot of people ask this, they're like, do you ever, do kids ever smoke on your bus, do they ever vape? No. I've never had that happen. Now back when I was in high school, man, they would light up cigarettes right in the back of the bus, you would smell it, the bus driver would smell it. If you're one of those people that lights up on the bus or vapes or whatever, if you crack that back window, the smoke comes right up to the front of the bus and hits the bus driver right in the nose. Cracking the back window does nothing. It creates like a vacuum and it goes whoof, right up to the front of the bus. So the bus driver knows immediately when you light up. It's kind of like when you eat on the bus too. Like I get some Doritos. I'm like, who's eating? <sighs> Better give me some. I found money. I found backpacks, phones, stuff like that. Nothing bad though. I guess I'm kind of lucky for that because I'm pretty sure that would probably require a police report or something like that. I don't want to deal with that. But yeah, to answer your question, nope. Never found anything illegal. You know, you have a really good point, but you have to be an incompetent idiot to not see a child on a bus. High school and middle school, they would be right in the seat. There ain't no way they're laying underneath the seat. But as you're walking through here, you would be able to see someone. It's not hard. Even if you're walking straight, you can still see out of the corner of your eye. Even if you don't look, you would still see out of the corner of your eye. Even walking back, you would see if there's a child underneath the seat. Like, you would see them. Unless you're an incompetent idiot that is just oblivious and blind. And if you're blind, you can't drive a bus because you have to pass a DOT physical. So, <laughs> there is physically no way walking through this bus that you should leave a student behind. None. None whatsoever. The only way children get left behind is if the bus driver doesn't walk to the back of that bus. That's the only way. There's no other way to get left on the school bus unless the bus driver doesn't walk to the back of that bus. And with child check, you're literally forced to walk to the back of the bus. So you will never, ever, ever forget a child. Okay, so you have to check each bus every time you drop kids off. So that's after every single school. So if you do three school runs, you have to check three times. With that being said, you have to do the child checkmate also after every single bus run because once you start the bus and drive, put the red lights on, it automatically restarts the system so you have to do it again